can we please welcome to the lectern, William Taylor. since I knew I was eighth on the speaking uh, list, and therefore this would be the eighth time you would heard this set of <laughs> responses. So I apologise for the repetition which is about to, to come your way. Um, I shall, as people normally do at this lecture when giving an evaluation, go through some of the good points from what was a very good speech. I will also try and draw out some of the, the areas which I think perhaps weren't quite as strong, and things which maybe next time the speaker could, could think about. So, to begin at the beginning, it's always a good place to start. We had, I think, an excellent opening. That was a really nice way to get the audience to speak on a Sunday morning when everyone's feeling maybe a little bit, uh, shall we say, tired of conference in the nicest possible way. Um, to get the audience to, to communicate back, very good start, good opening. Um, get us engaged. And I, I felt immediately relaxed, and, and I trusted this speaker. This speaker stood at this lectern, and spoke at uh, quite a gentle, pleasant pace with plenty of pause and kept sort of a, a relaxed feeling throughout the speech. And I think that was very nicely done. And as I say, I think the speaker appeared to be confident at this lecture, which was good. One area linked with that was the fact that the speaker managed to keep, I think, quite good eye contact, was looking around the room quite well. The use of notes was okay. There was just one slight thing I would like to think the speaker should think about a little bit. Um, it was interesting that the speaker, in a similar way actually to quite a number of people yesterday, stood slightly to one side of the lectern and had the notes slightly off to one side. I personally find this slightly odd because it means you're always looking more sideways and it's more noticeable when the speaker is turning to look at the, the set of notes. I think perhaps if the speaker was to stand more centrally, that would help. Also, the speaker used their notes, sort of lifting through the, the, the leads of the notes. And I think actually that was again quite a distraction. Perhaps just to sort of slide them across in some way. We're going to have notes which were clearly quite a detailed script. If they're going to be like that, then perhaps just to use them in a slightly different way would be good. And that actually slightly brings me on to another point as well. In terms of gestures, this speech had a few gestures, but it no, it wasn't littered with them, and I think that was fine. I don't think it was necessary to have a huge number of gestures. But one thing which I did notice was that there was quite a lot of extraneous hand movements. This lectern is your friend. You can hold on to it, and you can restrain those swaying hands. And I would encourage the speaker to think about that in the future. So moving on to the final thing I want to think about is the content of the speech. I think the content was extremely well chosen. It was very suitable for this audience talk about gardeners, world, etc. clearly resonated well. <laughs> and throughout the speech there was a sort of a natural, gentle humour which, which continued because of that well-chosen topic. I think that was very impressive. <coughs> what I might say is that I think the speaker clearly we had issues with timing. And one aspect of that was the construction. There was a little bit, too, too many examples in the middle of the speech. I think we could have done away with a few, particularly towards the end, when, when we were being asked to reflect on some of those things we'd heard, heard earlier on. It was difficult. I couldn't quite remember all the names of the characters who had been discussed. So I think perhaps next time if the speaker was to repeat this speech, there's just those two things I'd like them to think about. I'd like to hold the lectern, slight different notes, use of the notes, but also they should try and trim out some of those parts of the speech to just condense the whole thing and make it just a little bit clearer and therefore we're probably a fit in the time. But otherwise, that was an extremely Thank enjoyable Thank you for speech. your evaluation.